I am fed up to the back teeth of people trying to cause problems, come up, pretend to be your friend, and then behind your back, they're sabotaging our programs. Unacceptable. Yes. Coach, in a nutshell, are you saying you're not getting the appropriate support from some members? Absolutely, 100%. Absolutely, no. McLean this week is supporting us 100%. Yeah, and I applaud him for that, and what he did last week was fantastic. But I'm not going to stand here and tell you lies, chaps, because I care about this country, and I care about the sport. And I hope, that, I hope those people tonight who are listening to this are squirming, because something drastic needs to be done. You don't know what happened today. Please share, Coach. No, I won't share because I don't wash my dirty linen in public, okay? okay? But dig a bit deep, you might find out. Right, right. It would be very interesting question question. to hear from you uh, the decision of picking Ngele as your captain. Take us through the thought process. Listen, Toto Ngele has had a wonderful season. Uh, he's come in, we didn't have size, size. The challenges, those players for I applaud every single athlete in this country. Every single athlete in this country who goes forward, whether it's the Diamond League or whatever, because the challenges that they face at times, is difficult. And people don't tell the truth. And sometimes the truth hurts. And if the truth hurts, so be it. Where I'm from, they always say the cap fits. The cap fits, you, you wear it. You've got to back those young lads, whether I'm here or I'm not here. Hey, like I've always said, I'm a big lad. I can accept criticism. When it's fair. I can walk out of here today and I can walk with my dignity completely intact. I've had three wonderful years here. The Botswana people have been totally supportive of me. I'm thankful. I've had His Excellency Lieutenant General Ian Karma, his, his office, George Kalewa. I've had a sports minister. I've had people who care and they've supported us. McLean Lesweety supports us. But I ask the question. Stop trying to sabotage those around, and they know who I'm talking about. There's too many people at that BFA have been there far, far too long, and it needs a change. It needs to be cleaned. And if it's not cleaned, how can these youngsters, all these young lads, I didn't go out there today with a young team, with an old team. I could have gone out and picked an old team. I've picked a team there for the future. Because I care about Botswana. I care about these young lads, like I care about my own three children. You're fantastic. Um, you guys don't understand the challenges, uh, the problems, the people trying to cause problems uh, for this national team. And as I stand here today, there should be an inquiry about actually what goes on outside. I think it's totally unacceptable. As a professional, as a professional person, and those people, they know what I'm talking about. You know, the challenges that those lads have faced over the last week, 10 days, and I have to applaud McLean Lesweety. I think he's a, a smashing guy, a lovely fellow. I think what he did, taking us to Morocco, was fantastic. And we had a great game there. I really believe in his, uh, his philosophy and his mandate of actually what he's trying to achieve. Uh, and I applaud him for that. But there has to be a big question mark asked about the people around him. That's what I want to know. Are you with us or are you not with us? Because if you're not with us, don't hide in the corners. Hey. Don't hide behind walls, causing problems for us. Come out, man up, and be honest. Because I love this country, and I love those players. And those players today, the mistakes cost us, done us proud. Really, really proud of those lads today, the way they went about it, the way they represented their country. Could not ask for any more. On another day, you win that game with a better team, and anybody who stands here today and says to me that we weren't the better team, 